Hey guys, and welcome back to another video right here on Tetrabit Gaming. Not long ago, we had a special Nintendo Direct that was focused entirely on Super Mario Maker 2. In it, several returning features, as well as new ones, were shown off. Although as of the making of this video, we don't know everything that's going to be in Super Mario Maker 2 at launch, but I think we've seen most of it anyway. Either way, I thought it would be fun to go way back and have a look at my 2015 top 10 wish list for things I wanted to see added to Super Mario Maker 1 here in the form of its sequel, and see just how much of what I hoped for is gonna be coming our way. For those of you that weren't following me back then, I was pretty much a Super Mario Maker channel before all the lost bits and all that fun stuff. We got, what, one, two, three, four, five, at least five videos. Not to mention all the streaming I did of Super Mario Maker. It was probably like 95% of what I streamed. It's hard to believe it's been... It says three years here, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be five, probably upcoming in this October. Anyways, let's get the party started. Alright, let's go. Mario Maker is finally out, and ah. I say, this game is <laughs> good. that voice? I was so I quiet. I love it to bits, and younger me probably would have had a heart attack. Probably would have had a heart attack. Of being what I sound like. make new amiibo skins, you can post courses online, you can add crazy sound effects. Man, I was really excited for this game. Coins. You can definitely yeah. tell by the sound of my this voice. This game has everything. Wait. No, it, no doesn't. it doesn't. As amazing as no, this it game doesn't. is, it is missing several things from the series, which could have been amazing if they were added. Although some ideas here are more crucial than others, it would be really neat to maybe see I some really, I really hope the Amiibos get added back in. They haven't shown them off yet, but I really hope we still get to keep those costumes. I won't include items and costumes. enemies list, as there are far too many more that could have been added. Okay, I didn't include items time. because there was like 20 go, I could think of. list of 10 things that need to be added. So those aren't going to be for Super sure Mario. in this list. Number ten. I've I've kept these transitions, man, for almost four years. Online to play, with thousands more being added Love them. each and every day. Some good, but mostly bad. To replay many of these levels again would be a leaderboard round. Leaderboard. System. Depending on the level, it could be either based on time or score, which would prompt many players to play their favorite levels more and more and to try harder. To get a faster I feel time, like it's been changed. I don't know if they added an actual leader. leaderboard. Making a couple pause this. I don't think they've added an actual leaderboard yet, unless I'm mistaken. I think they've added. Uh... I'm remembering, I'll have to check the video. If it is, I'll put it up on screen right now. But I think they've added something, but I don't remember if it's like an actual leaderboard or if they just did not add anything at all. I'll have to, I'll have to check. If it is, I'll put it up right here. And you might earn a top spot on the leaderboards. That's all for number 10. Let's go to number 9. One of the oddest things that I noticed about Super Mario Maker is that although all the enemies are cross compatible between the different eras of Mario games, some features, however, are not. Most notably, this is in the case of how each game has its own power-up, which isn't compatible with the other eras. For example, you will not be oh, yeah, able to use a Super Leaf to make my a old thing Mario in any version Good except times. for Super Mario Bros. 3. Seeing as how they put a lot of work into making okay. each enemy compatible across every single era, and that each era is run on the exact same engine, I don't see why they couldn't let these items also be cross-compatible. Okay, so they actually took this a step in the opposite direction of what I wanted. Uh, so I still think you can't, I still think each series has their own exclusive items, like Propeller, I don't think they added that to the old ones. Um, but yeah, like I said, they, they pretty much did the opposite. They have like another, you didn't see, the Super Mario 3D World theme now, uh, which has its own set of things that aren't even compatible with any of the old ones, so it's pretty much even less compatible. So it's interesting, it's kind of another the opposite of what I wanted. I understand why it's like that. But uh, I wish I wish everything was compatible Super across Mario the board. World and New Super Mario Bros. U. Alternate or secret endings were hidden in a few levels throughout the games, and after finding one, allowed the player. I don't to take an alternate path think these have been added onto further levels or other bonus houses. Although they couldn't quite serve the same purpose in Super Mario Maker without a dedicated. Yeah, they don't make sense. Why did I say this? It's cool to place secret exits throughout the levels to give players the incentive and reward for in-depth level exploration. This would be especially cool if some of these exits required a specific power-up to enter, which could further increase replayability of all of these levels. That would be cool. I don't believe they've added it yet, but I do think it'd be awesome to kind of reward level exploration, to kind of give, to hide away certain exits, stuff like that, but I don't think that's been added anyway. Now, I never saw why many people have such a deep love for Luigi. <laughs> don't Bringing the Luigi roast all the way tomorrow, back in 2015. But to me, he was never anything too awesome. special. Not having Luigi as a playable character in the original Super Mario Bros. is like removing the frosting from an Oreo. 
You just know good, something Good there. comparison, 4 out of 10. Luigi's back in the form of an amiibo, but that just doesn't seem like enough. Yeah, I think Luigi, Luigi is back. I think he's part of the multiplayer. I think it's what, Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toadette? Or, or is one of them Peach? Ugh. Pretty sure Luigi's in the game now, though. Multiplayer. There you go. Speaking of multiplayer, also added... It's the ultimate there actually, multiplayer experience. Pause this. There actually is a bit of skepticism around multiplayer right now, because it hasn't been officially confirmed. They haven't said that you can party up with friends yet. Um, so some people are worried that it might just be, like, part of, like you search for random players to play with. So hopefully, I'm really hoping they don't let us play with actual friends. But, you know, you never know. You we never surely know. haven't seen any robust online multiplayer yet. Yeah. With games still, like Mario Party, still stands Mario Kart, 4 years Super later, Smash haven't seen any, any, more. any robust multiplayer from Nintendo yet. And family. Playing creative levels with friends would have been a blast, either together at the same time, or cooperatively by taking turns to see who could get the furthest, or get the best score. Hold on, hold on. They... They did add, I think, a cooperative and a... and a competitive play, right? So, it's not what I said, it's not like taking turns to get the best score, is it? I don't remember now, because it, it is competitive, but I don't remember how it works. Um, either way, they added multiplayer, and I'm pretty sure it's both competitive and cooperative, so... More than... more than what I expected, so that's good. Number five. Star Coins, as we have come to know them today, originated Star in Coins. Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS and have since been in every new Super Mario game to date. More recently, being replaced by green stars in Super Mario, they served as a reason to further explore Hold each up. level to collect them and truly complete the level. So, they haven't added Star Coins yet. They've added the 10, 30, and I believe up to 50 coins in Super Mario Maker 2. Um, however, this was this video was also made before one of the updates to Super Mario Maker 1, in which they added the red coins, which pretty much served the same purpose as what I was going for here, to kind of, um, get players to kind of explore the level, look in every nook and cranny to find what they need to beat the, beat the level. And that's kind of what the red coins have, that's kind of their purpose in Mario Maker 1, anyway, um, to to force players to find them in the level to get the key to open the door. So that's pretty much what I was going for here. So it's already been added. They're not star coins or green stars or whatever, but they serve the same purpose. And we know there's, there's extra again, content, being added like to Mario Maker 2. Backdrops, sprites, etc. Okay. Number now, I've already heard many people complain about this being left out of the final game. You're playing a really long and difficult level, and you just crossed that super difficult section. Wow, look, you're almost at the finish, and you die. And you die. Now you have to start all over from the beginning and try to beat that near impossible section. <laughs> I like. Hang on. Great at the I, li I like the name of the stage. Now you have to start on, where is all it? over from the beginning and try. I like the to name beat of the stage. Near impossible Ult section. Ultra. Wouldn't ultra cool. Very cool, lads. So everything wasn't lost. These checkpoints wouldn't have. Yeah. So checkpoints. Time. Okay. So checkpoints again. Obviously, these were added to Super Mario Maker One. Again, this video was made pretty shortly after the release of the first game. I believe there was like one update. As I made this video, and obviously checkpoints were added, bless, um, even though some creators still don't put them in where they should. Checkpoints were added, and I, I can't count how many comments I've gotten on this video telling me, oh, checkpoints were added, checkpoints were added. I guess they don't know, maybe they bought the game after the checkpoints were updated to the game, they don't know that they didn't exist before, but anyway, lots of comments of people trying to correct me for saying they, their checkpoints exist, even though, again, this was made before they were added. One of my absolute favorite added features of Super Mario Maker are the various alternate sprites for Mario, which can be unlocked in various ways. Notably, by and I said this earlier, I love Nintendo the Amiibo costumes. I really hope they come in. It's come amazing back. to see all the different characters stylized and in a Mario. So game. cool. However, unfortunately, this ability is restricted to only the Super Mario Bros. style of graphics. I think it would be amazing to see all these characters stylized in the other graphics as well. I know it would probably be a ton of work for the developers, but you can't deny that it would be an amazing feature. And I still agree with it. I think it would be awesome to see all these characters in uh, in different styles. Obviously, like I said, like I said in the video, that's probably uh, a hefty task for the development team. Um, but again, we don't even know if these costumes are coming back in Super Mario Maker 2 officially yet. It's likely that they're probably just going to add all of them, but they haven't said it officially, so who knows? Maybe they'll again take a step backwards from what I wanted and just completely get rid of them uh, instead of adding more styles, which would be. I can't be the only in my opinion, a tragedy. to play through Super Mario World levels as Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, Zero Suit Samus. Epic. Truly an epic gamer moment. 
from 2015. Now initially, I was going to include the removal of the 9 day unlocking system originally implemented oh, yeah. in the game as my number 2 pick. <laughs> I hope they don't have that. But it seems that cues from the general public's distaste for it and has patched it through. Okay, so this was after at least one you patch. You still don't get everything right away and have to unlock it, it so bad. You have to play controls, like... But I guess it's better than it was. So before. long just to unlock everything that oh, put... In its place, Ugh. I think it would be really cool to see the ability to swap between different Mario eras while playing a single level. Imagine starting out a level in classic Super Mario. That'd be so cool! Like, uh, emerging I still think this is like one of the coolest things that could happen. I think this would be really neat to so, like just transition, transition between different eras uh, in one level. The fundamental I think it'd be crazy. I don't see it being that difficult because they, they all run on the same engine, right? They're just different, different, um, different styles. And the fact that you can change them with the tap of a button when you're making a level. I think wouldn't make it that hard to like implement as you're playing it. Um, again, I can't, I can't say that for sure, but I think it'd be a really cool, really cool thing to add to the game if you could switch between different different modes on the fly. I think it'd be awesome. Like even <laughs> going back to the thought, like even like there's a certain like uh, a four, like not a fork in the road, like a um, a barrier or a, an obstacle in the road that you need. For example, the propeller mushroom, and you can only beat that jump if you are in the New Super Mario Bros. style. So if you're playing in another style, you're like, wow, I gotta figure out how to switch styles. Maybe like if there was a block that flipped, flipped the styles or whatever, that'd be cool. Again, I, we haven't seen any indication of this coming to the game, so unfortunately something that I gotta keep wishing for. Maybe, maybe next and time. And finally at number one, the thing which is already number actually one. in the game and that I think needs to be absolutely changed is to add the option to remove the time limit set on each creative level. Not only is it unnecessary, but it essentially stifles level creativity by preventing any levels being built with a bigger focus on exploration or platforming puzzles. Some might argue that the 500 seconds or whatever is enough, which it might be for most cases, but not all cases. And that's why I think having the option to turn off the time limit is still a very important feature that needs to be added. I still, I still agree with this. I think the the option to turn off the timer, it, it should be just, it should be an option. It shouldn't be, it's not a big ask to just get rid of the timer. I don't think anyway. And I think it would be obviously there could be levels that would take forever, which is unfair. But I do think that it would be really cool to make like bigger levels that take a lot of exploration. Um, and again, 500 seconds is a long time, but even then, you can make a grand grandeur level and just have it be really, really cool and for like not forced exploration, but um, foster a lot of exploration in that level. Uh, a lot of people really didn't like that I put this at number one, but I think it'd be a really big game changer um, for creativity anyway. And there you go, that was the list, nice and short. Uh, if you've noticed, I didn't put slopes on this list, which uh, also apparently made a lot of people mad. Uh, they didn't like that I included slopes, which was like the big thing, everyone wanted the slopes. And they added those, so if you, if you were one of those people that really wanted them, uh, the slopes are now in the game, so hopefully you're happy. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. I'm super excited for Mario Maker 2, um, just to play the levels. I'm not a big creator myself, I just love seeing the creativity everyone else makes. Uh, I'm just playing through all the good and not so good levels, it's always a good time. Uh, so we're about a month, a month away from the release of the game, and I'm super excited, especially for multiplayer. Uh, I'm really hoping you can play with friends, because that'll be some epic collab content with Minus World, as well as uh, maybe some other creators here and there. So with that, it looks like about 5 out of the 10 things I wanted have been added since I made the video. Pretty good. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching today, and as always, if you enjoyed this video and you are hyped for Super Mario Maker 2, be sure to slap a like down below, and also check out my other Mario videos by clicking on the card right in that direction of the screen. And if you're new here and you would like to stay up to date with me and the channel and my move into my new office, hence the, the mess back here and the lack of real videos. Uh, be sure to follow me on all the social media things you'll see on screen right there. But as always guys, thank you all so much for watching today and for all of your amazing support, and I will see you in a bit.